Hey yo, what's good? Welcome back to Coach DT Reacts. So we got these dubs, yes sir, baby. Taking on these Sacramento Kings in the first round of the NBA playoffs, all right? Uh, you got your Draymond Green, you got your Klay Thompson, you got your Kevon Looney, you got your Andrew Wiggins, yes sir, Wiggs back in the starting lineup. And you got Wardell Stephen Curry, the greatest shooter alive, baby. Yes sir, taking on these Sacramento Kings featuring Young Herder. All right, you got your Harrison Barnes. You got your DeMontis Sabonis. All right, you got your De'Aaron Fox. And you got your Keegan Murray. All right, let's check it out. Uh-oh. Trip, man. Don't trip on me. All right, get this thing going. Um, to be honest, I thought the Warriors' defense... Uh, was actually pretty solid in the first quarter. Um, that Sabonis gets downhill right there for that lay. Um, I find the and what? We don't we don't get an and one for that. Okay, good look by, by Steph right there. You know he's locked in. Devon Looney trying to do the interior pocket pass. I think he misses Clay in the corner right there. Huh? Little dunk by uh, Fox. Hey, these these uh, young kings, they hooping. If you don't know, watch them. These boys hooping. They're playing good, hard-nosed defense, making it uncomfortable for the Warriors. Hands active, huh? Nylon for play right there. That's on the deflection by Harrison Barnes. Look at that. We're not locked. That's not locked in, Clay. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that to yourself. That's that's on you. You're, yeah. Ah. Good yam sandwich right there. Yeah, on his noggin. Good yam sandwich there by uh by Harrison Barnes. Uh, yeah, give me them cookies. Give me them cookies. You got them cookies, Steph. Come on, lock in. Come on. These boys is not here to play with y'all. I mean, okay, they are here to play with you. Know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Good shot by Dre. 12-8. And the Dubs defense showed the ability to keep this high-powered King's offense from scoring as Looney gets the, the pick and roll to the rim, rim, rim run. It's a bonus. All right, looking for anybody. Nice attacking. Yep. Cut throughs, cut throughs. Take the help with you. That's an and one. Yep. Dante pump make it downhill. Good find. Like that. Yes, sir. Find Stephen Curry. That's what you do. You attack. I need more of that. I need more guys that are able to get off the, get downhill off the, off the dribble, the shot, and and find the open greatest shooter ever, please. That would be wonderful. But also some bad decisions. Oh, good look by Wiggs. Yes, sir. Good look right there. I like that. All right, I think Wiggins bothers Fox. I think. Um, I think. Oh. JP got to stop reaching and just be solid. Stop reaching. Be solid. If you're solid, you give rotation time to get there. Maybe Kaminga can get, can, can get there in time. But if you reach and then you're not there anymore, JP, you get you get your man dunked on. There's a seven-footer down there. By the way, other teams have seven-footers. Um, oh, excuse me. Step back. Yes, sir. Let's get it popping. I knew he was in trouble when he did that. When, he, when Malik Monk came off the spin move and went smooth into a side step, I said, okay, he's like that. And I, oh, excuse me. No, that's nasty. You do... That's na that's nasty. Hold on, let me get let me get my flag up. Now nah, Malik Monk is going stupid. That's that ain't that ain't no regular everyday move. That's like you in LA Fitness with your homies kind of move, bro. You playing in the NBA playoffs? Step back, excuse me. Uh huh. Let me get all that. Yeah, we in trouble. We in trouble. If he's gonna do that, we're in trouble. Kaminga's one of our better defenders. All right, you get the rebound there, and it's gonna hurt you. Literally hurt her. It's literally a herder. It's gonna hurt. Uh, 33-27. Clay dribbling with the few mm, attacking the rim. I like that. And one. All right. Dre with the ball. Ah. And uh, that's just Dre and Steph. That's what that's what you give up when Dre and Steph do their little you know eye contact thing. Sometimes they they're not on the same page. It's not always perfect. All right, Steph with Herder. Got to get a bucket. Step back. Excuse me. Let me have this dance. Schmack rules. Let me have this dance, man. Come on with it. All right, Steph setting a screen. Get wigs open. Schmack rules. We got hoopers. We got hoopers, bro. Let's do it. 
Uh huh. They call homie off night. Steph ain't having off nights. Huh. Good look. Good look right there. Now, Davion Hunt Mitchell's a dog, bro, for real. He is, he he do be giving folks off nights. Steph got to work extra hard on this, man. Step back. Steph is like that, bro. It's it's really one of them things where it's like, if y'all, if he would really be aggressive and, and, and make them think about him all the time, like that right there, stop doing that, right? I know... I know you King fans in here, bro. Y'all want to see this, bro. I don't want to see Hey! <laughs> Stop dunking on Clay! Stop! <laughs> Stop dunking on Clay, man. Come on. 59-52. Steph coming off the screen. Wig step through. He had to get bumped right there, but we're not really getting any of those touch fouls on this end. 65-56. Clay, good, good pass to Loon. Ah, oh, good rotation. That's what Loon didn't do earlier on that turnover early in the game. He's got to look the corner and look for Clay out there. Jab, step, pull up, Clay. Pull up, Clay. I'm waiting on you to knock on the door. Pull up. Let's go. Nah, De'Aaron Fox getting down here. We're too soft. We can't play this drop coverage. We can't do this. Huh? We can't. We can't. I don't know what we need to do, but somebody's got to show right here. I don't know if that's Moody showing and, and then have Looney go out and try to deal with 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 uh, 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 Harrison Barnes. But whatever you're going to do, bro, this man will hit this floater. Trey Young will hit this floater. All right. Job will hit this floater. It's not a it's not a winning type of defense, in my opinion. Step. If you play Steph like that, you would lose. And some of these guys, are, they're not Steph, but they can shoot the ball, man. It can't be. Look at this. That's too soft. Is Dre looking for a rotation? What is he looking at for? Well, is he looking at Dante for a rotation here? You, you gotta pick it up earlier. I, I don't know if he's looking at Dante to rotate over and pick up Herder so he can stay on Sabonis, but whatever it is, we've got to do a better job. And, and all right, so this is another thing. Let and let me and let me say this. Shut up, music. Shut up. Let me say this. There's a lot of things going on on one side of the court that are being called closely on the other side. Let me say that again. There are things going on on one side of the court that are not being called on the other side. What do you mean, Coach DT? Let me show you. All right. So we cool here. 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 We're not cool here. We're not cool with Sabonis taking his big left arm. Massive man, by the way. It's a seven-foot man. And, and literally manhandling Wiggins, shoving him out of the lane. It's, what? Is that, is that legal in basketball? Can we grab a man and literally shove him away from a location? No, we can't do that. Right? So whenever we get touch fouls on one end, good, good deflection my stuff right there. When we get touch fouls on one end, all right, we shouldn't be rewarding Big homie, manhandling folks on the other end. All right, we, we can't have it both ways. Jab, step, pump. Yeah, pull that. We're going to get that more, too. 77-66, 11-point ball game for Sack. Wiggins, like, he's like, he's asleep right there. Is he is he flat-footed? What's happening? He's, he's flat-footed. Come on, Wiggs, keep your feet moving. You got beat off the dribble right there because your feet are flat, you're, you're flat-footed. Steph with these floaters, too. Oh, that Jay? Was that JP? Who was that? Steph. And where's JP? He's going to get that rebound, but that puts us in a tough situation in transition defense. JP's got to be smarter than that. Know the know the play is over, and don't get don't don't fall for the okie doke. All right, get back on defense. I thought Steph was hurt right there. To be honest, it looked funny. Good take by Wiggins. Wiggins, good take. If they're going to be physical like that with us, go into their chest. Let's go. Ten-point ball game. JP ain't did nothing. There's, there are zero baddies. There are zero baddies in Sacramento, California. Zero. Northern California has about three baddies to rub together, and they are not in the same area. Step back. Pull that. Huh. That's a nice move, Wiggy. I like that. Uh-huh. Excuse me. In and out. Crossover. Step back. Boom. Money. Good hand and everything. Don't matter. I'm good. Hey. Go play. Go play. Step in transition. Lay some. Lay some, Wardell. Let's go. Six-point ball game, ten minutes left. Six-point ball game, eight minutes left. 
Hawks gets through the first Woo! Round. That oh, that bulldog off the pit off the screen is stupid. Fox huh. huh. Woo that's stupid. That's stupid. See now Fox. <laughs> Coach said, I ain't seen a fox this fast since Tails from Sonic. <laughs> that's gas. All right, good look right there by Steph. Now, let me say something else. All right, we're going to call touch fouls. All right, Steph is getting hit here. He's getting hit. How do I know? Because this man is literally melting into the first the row. Yeah, that's how much contact Steph has to go through to get to the goal. That man is in the first row right now. Peyton. Right? And, and Steph still somehow doesn't get, yeah, doesn't get a foul call there. It's amazing, man. Six-point game, Steph get downhill, looking for a nice, easy lay. He got it. He's got it. They don't have rim protection. They do a good job of perimeter defense and right, making him take tough shots. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, here's what I see. Okay. First of all, we got to start it all the way over, really. Here's what I see. Here's what my eyes see. All right. I on Sabonis and Clay right here on the shot. All right. I don't think Clay is trying to go this direction with the ball coming off the rim. All right. From a different angle, you will see DeMontis Sabonis grabbing the back of Clay's jersey. Okay, cool. All right. That's a foul. Should have been called. Uh, you can't grab someone's jersey and pull them to the ground. All right. Second thing that happened. This is a flop. Nobody knocks it, knocks Sabonis to the ground. All right. Nobody knocks him to the ground. Okay. All right. If he if he trips and falls, okay, whatever. All right. But grabbing someone's jersey in the process, while it may be natural, it's still not a legal basketball thing. All right. You reach out and grab somebody on the way down to the ground, bro. They're gonna call a foul on you in most cases. All right. Now we're at this point right here. All right. Now, check it out. You can see the back of Draymond's sock right here and his whole shoe and his calf and everything. All right, which tells me that at this point, Sabonis has not decided to protect himself. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, so we're not going to protect myself. I reach for the closest thing to me and then I close my arms on it. That's, that's how I protect myself. Or... Do I naturally go into the fetal position all right, with my arms over my head like this so that whatever is around doesn't hit me? Or am I going to hug the nearest dangerous object to my face? Oh, we're afraid of Draymond kicking him in the head. I'm certainly not going to hold Draymond's foot to my face and put an arm lock on it. All right, so check it out. Curry's got all right, so what you're seeing right now is Draymond attempting to pull his leg out of this arm lock. You can see and tell that it's arm locked because Sabonis literally comes off the ground when Draymond goes to step. If Sabonis is just trying to protect himself, Draymond's leg slides free. Draymond steps right there. All right, right there. He steps right over the guy. He's up on his left toe at this point. If you've ever stepped up on one toe to jump over something, you know that if something grabs whatever that toe is, that the other, if something grabs the other leg, for example, stepping over a chained, like a low chain fence. If you step over that fence and your leg gets caught, you're going down. Unless you're able to plant hard with that foot. But if you can't plant, you're going to bust your head on the ground. You're going to fall face first. As you can see, Draymond's ankle is off the ground right here, and he's ankle locked right here. So where is this balance, this magical balance that you guys are expecting this six foot eight man to have? This magical ability to both be on his toes, have an ankle locked, and then manage to control his entire body and avoid not stepping down in the wrong way. You can call me biased. We're not biased on this channel, okay? Draymond has messed up in the past. Draymond should not have slapped uh, LeBron James uh, in 2016. He was suspended for that, and I believe it cost the Warriors a championship. All right? Draymond has been wrong in the past. He kicked Steven Adams in the nuts. All right? Is that a basketball move? It's not. Okay? But what is a basketball move is trying to get back on defense, which is what Dr oh, excuse me, back on offense, and take advantage of a five-on-four. Because if Savonis is on the ground 
arm locking, it's a five on four. Instead, Draymond is unable to take advantage of this and ends up having to pull his leg out and do the best he can to get off the guy. So I ask you, who initiates this situation? All right, Draymond got suspended for a game for this incident. I don't agree with that. I think he was punished with the double technical, kicked out of the game, and they lost the game. We're going to turn around and punish him again because he has a history. This amazing history that Draymond has, I just detailed it in 10 seconds. All right, the Steven Adams situation where he's kicking the dude in the nuts. All right, the, Dray the, the suspension in the finals in 2016. By the way, it's 2023. Okay, so that's been some years, right? Mm-hmm. All right, and then last year with the uh, the Brandon Clark incident, which, in my opinion, looked like he was trying to hold the guy up and prevent him from falling and hitting the ground. But whatever. You can't grab his jersey. Oh, wait. You can't grab his jersey and pull him to the ground, which is exactly what Sabonis does to start this. Isn't that, isn't that ironic? I find it to be ironic. So, anyways, that's my perspective. Do you have to agree with me? You don't. All right, and many of you won't. All right, but from my perspective, Draymond's double technical, whatever he got to get kicked out of the game, all right, was plenty. Suspension, overkill. All right, and you're messing with your product. So with that being said, I hope Sabonis is okay, but he played a stupid game, in my opinion, and he got a stupid prize. And we'll leave it at that. All right, so Dre's getting back on defense. They stopped, uh, back on offense. They stopped the play. Steph shoots from half court, and then my guy lays on the ground for 10 minutes. Once again, hope he's okay, but I feel like he was dunking the ball late in the game after that. So, you know, he's. I think he's going to be okay. I do. I believe he's going to be fine. Yeah, the game of flagrant one. I think he did way more um, than that, to be honest. Initiating that, he could have smashed, he fallen down that way. He could have landed on somebody's knee, anything. He's got to be more careful. I feel like he's been reckless more often than not in this series. All right. Three-point ball game right here. Oh, yes, I like it. I like it. Good decision-making by Young Moody. I tell you what, I love Young Moody's minutes. Young Moody has some really good minutes, and with him on the court, we tie the game up. All right, but unfortunately, oh, look at that. Sabonis is already back. It's only been a couple minutes. Good for him. I'm glad he's healthy. All right, 95-93, Sacramento, 5-37 left. Oh, good look, right? That hesitation is so nasty. I think Steph can get whatever he wants against this team. All right, in certain situations, I think he can get whatever he wants. But unfortunately, so can De'Aaron Fox. And he does. That's a good play right there by De'Aaron Fox. All right, and that's not to discredit the Kings and what they're doing, by the way. This, this, That's not what we're doing here. All right, we are definitely... Feeling the Kings and their hard work. We love us some uh, Mike Brown uh, as a former Warriors coach. We, re we appreciate this young squad giving uh, the effort that they are giving in this series, man. This is awesome to see. All right, this is a good thing for the NBA, in my opinion. Clay, pull something stupid. Clay, pull this stupid stuff. Let's go. I like it. We down three, though. Two minutes left. We got to get a stop. Got to get a They left this man. But booty naked. Here's Fox. How you leave Mitchell. one of their best scores, but booty naked? Come on, man. Four point ball game, and HB is getting downhill. Steph can't guard him. What do you want me to say? Steph can't guard him. All right, Wiggins on the ball. Malik Monk ah, had a deflection right there, and if he's gonna hit threes, he's gonna we're gonna lose, man. If that if if that guy's gonna hit threes consistently at 30% for the season, we're gonna lose, man. Um, Clay rises, rising, shooting something stupid, but it's all for not, man. It's all for not. Um, Dubs dropped this one, man. Dubs dropped this one, 114, 106. Yeah, yeah, my. <laughs> My ribs are contused. <laughs> now, nah, Coach Taylor's confused. Seven seconds left. Yeah, good look right there. He looks healthy, healthy, to be honest. Looks healthy, healthy right there. I, I hope he does come back and play the next game um, so we can uh, take care of business in game three. All right, let's take, let's take a look, see, look see at these box scores real, real, real quick. Box 
boxy box. Okie dokie. All right, let me see some. All right, so Andrew Wiggins, 39 minutes, 22 points. Wiggins gave you 22. I like that. Five rebounds. I, I can take that. Eight, five, and four. And Draymond's 31 minutes. He was uh, booted from the game. He will be suspended for the next, so he is a non-factor until game four. Uh, Kevon Looney, six, one, and seven. Um, they are doing a good job of keeping our, our bigs from scoring down low. Steph, 28, 6, and 3. Thank you for the 6 assists, Steph. I appreciate you. I asked you for that last game. You deliver. Uh, 3 rebounds. You, you're a 6 rebound, 5 rebound kind of guy. Uh, 21 points, 3 assists, 5 boards for Clay. That's that's manageable for Clay. I'll take that. GP got in and got some minutes, 13, 6 uh, for, in 27 minutes. I like his 6 boards. I love his 6 boards. Uh, J G Jordan Poole. Something's not good. I, if, if, if JP is not healthy, um, which I, I'm wondering if he is, because 16 minutes is very, very low. It's either that he's not healthy or they feel like he can't guard anyone on the Kings. If that's the case, then JP may not get any minutes. 13 minutes for Dante also, not much. Um, and this tells me this, this was a must win in the Warriors' eyes right here because you see that the, the front eight, the front six really, Played heavy minutes, and then everybody else is just kind of filling in. Joe Koo didn't get much done. Uh, Moses Moody had eight minutes. I really liked Moses Moody's minutes, which was good because Dray we're going to need him to approximate a Draymond potentially on um, at least for a spell on a Thursday. We we're going to need him to step up. Joe Koo's got to step up. Jermichael Green's got to step up, man. These guys got to step up. And so, um, yeah, we've got to go into the next game with that mindset. Um, all right, look at these Kings, man. Uh, congratulations to the Kings, man. Going up 2-0, uh, you helped serve. And, and obviously, the, the series doesn't start until you guys win a game in Golden State. But I feel like you're in really good shape as a squad right now. Uh, if I were the Kings, I'd feel really good about where I am. But I would also go into game three with, with literally – Blood in the water on my mind. Like, you got to win game three if you're the Sacramento Kings. Uh, you cannot give this Golden State Warriors team any kind of belief, all right? Because once they feel it, they feel it, bro. Um, once they figure it out, they figure it out. And I'm sure they're digging deep right now to figure this thing out. So, HB, 13 points, 6 rebounds. He's really not a lot do done right there by HB. Keegan Murray, same thing. Not a lot done right there. All right, but they're timely buckets. They're timely rebounds. They're timely deflections. Sabonis, 40 minutes, 24 points, 4 assists, 9 rebounds. All right, that's a pretty great night for Sabonis. Shout out to him for that. Uh, he gets no shout for the arm, uh, the uh, ankle lock. Darren Fox, 24 points, 9 assists, 5 rebounds. Uh, great night for him, right? We made it tough for him to score, but he did get his buckets. Nine assists is too many. If he's going to get nine assists, we're in trouble. Uh, and five boards also. He's, he's really performing. Uh, Keegan, uh, Kevin Herter really had some timely threes. Good buckets from him. 15-5 and five is a solid night. Malik Monk, 18-6. and six. We did a better job on Malik Monk. I like what I see, uh, but he did still hit some, some timely buckets that were tough. X-Factor. X Factor, right here. Boom, that, there he is. If Davion Mitchell's going to come off, do 28 minutes, score 14 points, and make everything for Steph really, really hard, that's a dub for them. We got to figure out Davion Mitchell and get him off Steph. Or Steph's got to just take it upon himself to bust this dude down, which I think he can. But he's got to do it. All right, Trey Lyles, 15 minutes, zero points. Love it. Um, Alex Lynn, eight minutes, four points. Love it. All right. So, I mean, honestly, I think the Dubs can, can win this series, but they got to play like they're the Warriors. They held them to nine three-pointers, and they still won. That's a bad sign. It's a bad sign. 47% uh, from the field. They got 10 more shots, guys. 10 more shots! And they won by less than 10. Protect the ball. Let me say it again. Protect the ball. It's important. I'm sure Steve Kerr said that till he's gosh dang green in the face. But please protect the ball. 15 free throws for the Dubs made out of 18. 21 for 29 for the Kings. 
that's a factor. 10 extra possessions plus 10 extra, 11 extra free throws, you're going to lose, man. 10 free throws, 11 free throws, 10 possessions, you're going to lose. Or, or 10 shots, excuse me, you're going to lose. Um, boards were even. You'll take that. Assists, they out-assisted you. Oh, my gosh. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't, if we're not going to assist, we've been assisting all year. If we're not going to move the ball well, which I guess the turnover, 20 turnovers. Yeah, 20 turnovers. 20 turnovers means that you're not going to get as many um, shot attempts, right? So you're not going to get as many free throws. It kind of actually adds up when you really think about it. If you would just protect the ball, you'd get more free throws. You would get more shots for sure, all right? And you'd have more assists. So once again... Protect the ball, please. All right, man. Yeah, I'm out of here, man. This is getting a little long. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to the Golden State Warriors, man. Hey, you guys got to get game three. Get game three. Play it one play at a time, one quarter at a time, one half at a time. You boys going to be fine. You men, excuse me, not to be disrespectful, going to be fine. All right. That being said, appreciate y'all kicking it. Peace. Roll that outro.